first lead coach at Active Fusion, Tia Hughes. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year, thank, nearly. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Tell us a bit more about what you teach. Um, so at Active I teach gymnastics, um, but I can really teach anything that gets thrown my way. I like to be challenged. <laughs> Excellent. How do you go about teaching gymnastics to small children? Because I imagine it must be chaos. Uh, honestly, well, yeah, of course. The first thing you think straight away is, oh my goodness, safety when it comes to gymnastics. Um, but my favourite thing is to try and incorporate fun into every lesson. Um, and I also try to teach the kids life skills like resilience and confidence and team working skills, which obviously has been challenged with the current circumstances of social distancing but I feel like I've still managed to do it successfully. Oh, I bet they all love it we'll hear from one of the children that attends the clubs in a minute but what kind of things do they end up doing then for gymnastics I'm thinking pirouettes and spins and jumps. Yes we get them doing um, so the, just before the Christmas break I've got them doing like the fundamentals of gymnastics so jumping, rolling, balancers um, and then we incorporate all of that into mini routines every week. And then just before the Christmas break, we had a big routine where I got the, the children to do everything they've learned into a little routine for me. And then we had a little audience and we were clapping and everything at the Aww. end. So it was really good. And how do you encourage all children to take part? Because I remember being at school and never feeling like I was sporty, always feeling like I was shuffling around at the back, not wanting to join in. So how do you make sure that everyone gives it a go? Um, well, the first of all, the thing the thing I like to teach the children is that you've got to give everything a, tr a try, everything. Um, the main, one of the little problems I had was um, we have some boys that have come into gymnastics, which is absolutely brilliant and something I love to see. Um, and a lot of the time they wanted, they always felt like they had to be at the bottom. So they had to be the people holding up, like the, the girls at the top. And I, and I had a big chat with the, the group and we ended up getting one of the boys on top because... He, he'd never had that before and that was something that I think proved to all the children that they can do anything as long as they put their mind to it. Oh, I want to do a human pyramid. I want to be <laughs> on the top. Ah. <laughs> and stay on the phone there. We're going to speak to one of the uh, parents and children. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning. Good morning. You're from Tickle. Tell us a bit more about your children and the clubs. Uh, I've got two children that attend clubs at St Mary's. I've got Daisy, who's nine, and Harry, who's five. Uh, Daisy's quite sporty anyway, and does take part in a lot of <coughs> extra, you know, extracurricular activities. But uh, with the closure of grassroots sports, we were we were struggling a little bit. So Daisy decided to stay on and do some of the after school clubs, um, and she's really really enjoyed them. I've got a feeling it's Daisy there. Should we say good morning to Daisy? She is there, yeah. Morning. Morning, Daisy. Tell us about the club that you go to. What do you do? I go to gymnastics. And is that with fun? Tia. With Tia, yeah. Can you tell me about some of the things that you do in gymnastics? We do balances in... And we, for about two weeks, we were doing, we had three people on one mat and we were practicing balances. Oh, wow. Do you think it's something I could learn? I'm quite old. Do you think it's, do you think I've left it too late? No. Nah. No, never too late. <laughs> uh, Daisy, did you have a nice Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get some nice presents? What did you get? I got my own laminator. <gasps> Oh, I'm very jealous. You're going to be able to make some wonderful pictures and they'll never fade because they'll be laminated. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. Now, we've still got the coach, Tia, on the phone. What would you like to say to Tia for all the lessons that she's given you this year? Thank you, Tia. Oh, oh thank you, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> that must be really nice to hear, Tia, when the children, you can really hear they've got something from your classes. Yeah, and I feel like even more now with the whole uh, situation that we're in, the children just want to be active and they just want to be with their friends. And I think that we've managed to really put that across to them. And what plans have you got for 2020 here in the groups? Um, well, I'm back at Tick Hill um, in the new year. Um, so I'm really looking forward to challenging, especially the older group, which is what Daisy's in, because um, a lot of them are 
well, in my eyes, they're pretty much professionals already. So it's just getting them skills better and perfecting them. Um, and it's just, just learning. And I just love seeing the children learning. So I'm really looking forward to getting back to that. Brilliant. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Daisy, did you hear that? You're almost a professional, Tia says. <laughs> Yeah. That must feel good. Are we going to see you on Strictly Come Dancing or Dancing on Ice one day or maybe the Olympics? I don't know. I think I'm very confident for you. I'm going to look out for you. Thank you so much. That's Tia Hughes from Active Fusion and Debbie from Tickle with nine-year-old Daisy. Thank you so much. Oh, so sweet.